Hello everyone, welcome to Artful Crafts. This is Kim. Today, I'm gonna uh, be making for the weekly challenge in the Shabby Chic Journal Group. We're gonna do a bag and a journaling card. I made this little bag um, just out of a brown paper bag. So this is gonna be my project. Um, I've gotten some tool that I cut some off. This is older tool, and it's actually, it's 100% nylon, it says, and it's, it's, it's rough feeling. So that's kind of different, but I'm gonna, I'm going. I said I was gonna quit saying gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna put this dang on. Let's see, because it is a darker pink, so it'll show up a little better. I'm gonna cut this down to size, just to have a little bit. And then I'm gonna glue some on here, like this. I'm gonna use um, just some of my hot glue, just so that it'll go a little bit faster, maybe. So we're going to do this and a journaling card, and you won't be able to see my little wax stuff once it, I get what I'm going to put over it. And I'm going to get, I had a piece of little white lace I was going to use. Gonna, gonna, gonna. I might as well say it. don't think I'm going to ever stop it. But if I lay this down, you can tell it kind of, the pink kind of peeks through. So I'm going to cut this right here. I hope I'm in camera. I'm trying to scooch up right here. And then I'll put some more glue down right through here. And right through here. And then we'll use our little spatula. Once it cools down just a little bit, you can use your fingers if you want, but right when you do it, it's pretty hot. And I see this, I think I wanna use this, and I'll put it up a little higher, and we can just do it like this, and then we'll get some glue. And lay this down. Kind of reminds me of like a chocolate bar wrapper, but the chocolate bar wrapper goes all the way around. But this will probably be glued down to a journal, so that's why I'm not really worried about it. And I think maybe, you know, I could have used that. And that could have been a little tuck spot, but that's okay. That is okay. And then I want to dress it up a little bit. I'm not sure how I want to. I'm thinking maybe this right here. I'll run just some hot glue right down here. You can use hot glue or Fabri-Tac, any kind of fabric glue that you like. I'll put this right here. I was looking for some of my little pink thread, not pink thread, but um, small, thin ribbon. And I'm not sure if I have any laying around. I wanted to put maybe a tiny bow right there. But I'm not seeing any. I don't even have any real thin, um, don't have any real thin ribbon. This is too thick, I believe. Let me just look, though. I thought I had a lot of my stuff out, but I guess I don't. But that's okay. We'll make something work. Work with what you have. I know I had some of that little pink fuzzy stuff, too, but it's just not right here with me at the moment. 
And that's kind of a little bit too much because it's covering up my, um, that's why I wanted a thinner ribbon. And I don't seem to have any. So let me think. Maybe we can use this, one of these. Just put one of these right here. Or two. We'll just do three. I think that'll be pretty. And we just won't have the ribbon. I love these. They're so dainty and pretty. I'm going to put this down. You can use the hot glue or the Fabri-Tac. I may not have gotten enough hot glue on there. I thought it would have been real pretty with a little bow, though. I'm coming down. But since I don't have one, and if you're using like a liquid glue, you can always put something like this in while you're using it so it won't stick. But that's looking cute. That can be our bag. And you can also, um, let's see what it will look like if we do this. We'll just edge it up. I like that, the little pink. Even the pink on the brown doesn't look bad. And I do believe this is going down in um, a journal flat. So, Okay, so that can be our paper bag. And you can make these paper bags as big or as small as you'd like. And I'm thinking maybe a button. I'm gonna have one of these little buttons. They're cute. And there we go. Yep, I like that. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, and right here I have a piece of actually um, one of these um, blank index cards, the bigger size. And I just cut it down and then I have um, a little edging tool that I went ahead and went around. Now these um, images that I'm using are still, we're still using from um, the French Cottage Shabby Digitals. That's what we're still using. I'm gonna, I think, just kind of go around this a little bit. And if you want to, you can back this and make it a little bit stronger if you'd like. I think I may go back and do that, but I won't do that right now on film. Okay. And I think we're going to use this image. Put this down. Okay. And I'm going to take my glue. And just glue this down. And this is, is going to sturdy it up a little bit. We'll put that right in the middle. And you could have just done three sides and had like a little pocket there. I did this a little longer because I kind of wanted it sticking out of the, um, the journaling cards to stick out of the bag a little bit. I thought that would be cute. Okay, now, I'm thinking maybe this way, and we can add that, and glam it up a little bit, it is Christmas, items we're working on anyway. I'm just wondering how many of you guys have your tree up. Let me know in the comments if you have yours up. No judgment here. I think you should do what you want to do. It's your holiday, your house, your um, how you want to spend it and what you like looking at. And if you want your tree up for three days or you want it up for three months, that's that's totally up to you. To each their own. No judgment here. I like having mine up a little longer because it takes me a long time to put mine up. I have a lot of 
vintage things that I enjoy using. And I tend to pull out a lot. I um, said I was going to go through and get rid of a lot of stuff, but that hadn't happened. <laughs> that has not happened. Not yet. I'm thinking maybe there. And I'm thinking I want to put maybe one of these up here. Uh oh, I'm getting stuff everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to cut one of these out. Uh-oh. Let's see. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. I think they're pretty cute for $1.25. I keep forgetting everything's gone up, guys. That's just... Whoa. And that's what it's supposed to do. We can be telling our grandkids, Oh, remember when gas was $3. <laughs> Instead of five or whatever they're going to be paying. There's no telling. No telling with this economy. Okay, and then I'll put that one there. It, it does have sticky, but I'm just going to place a little bit of glue to hold it also. And you could tell I was missing one. And usually sometimes I'll clip the other one around. But you can see right there it's missing it. But... If you put it up against here, you really can't tell. And then, what am I going to do with the journaling card? You can go as much detail or as little as you'd like on these. I am going to use some of my um, sticklers, I mean, sorry, stickles, um, Stardust. Because it has the pink, greens, and blues in it. And I think I'll go around and just maybe put some around the roses so they can sparkle a bit. And not all the way, just maybe in the middle and then around the edges, like. And then right here. And right here. And then we're going to let that dry, and we are going to call it finished. So there you are for, like I said, you can add as much or as little as you'd like. I don't think I'm going to add any stickles on here. I may go back later and do it. I'm not sure. But here you go. And you can have any kind of bag, any kind of size journaling card. I'm just showing you um, just right on the spot how I would do something and not take too long with thinking about it. Just going with my gut and just doing it. So this is what we have. Also, another shabby chic um, bag with the journal card. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and until next time.